Hey guys, it's your boy Mr. Mike HD here, back again with another player review, boys. We've been smashing it recently. Three of our videos have smashed, uh, three of them have smashed over 3k views, which is absolutely insane. So the Catrone, the Phil Foden, and the Calvaluin. Shout out to all of you for the support recently. It's absolute, has, it has been absolutely insane. Really do appreciate it. It keeps me going. It keeps me motivated to keep doing videos. So if you guys can continue to support, that would be absolutely insane. But yeah. This player review is going to be on the foot swap deals player Lautaro Martinez from Inter Milan, 84 rated striker. Got a nice looking card. To get this card, you're going to have to uh, give in nine foot swap deals for the fourth month. So nine of them. Before we get into this video, boys, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. That would mean the absolute world to me. We're trying to hit 10k subs by the year, so if you guys could help us out, that'd be crazy. We're really close to 3.5k. We have been growing pretty fast recently due to the last videos doing really well. So if you guys could continue to support, that would be crazy. So yeah, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, put notifications on so you'll be notified when I'm uploading and streaming that'll be absolutely insane and comment down below what you think of this video if you got any view uh any future video ideas comment down below and yeah man if you haven't already go check out my previous videos as well i did a how to be nick from the run the foot market go check that out i did the player review on trent alexander arnold arnold foot future card go check that out but anyways enough of the talking let's talk about this card lautaro martinez from inter milan he's got a really nice looking card as i did mention you need to give nine foot swap deals players to get this card i was gonna save up for the dembele but i thought you know what i'm gonna try this Mar martinez he looks really good so he's got his five foot nine high medium work rate his preferred foot is right four star weak foot four star skill move so it's really good for nine foot swap deals it won't cost you much he's got 88 pace 82 dribbling 82 shooting 86 physical the thing i liked about this card was immediately was the four star week of four star skill moves especially when we've got nice looking pace like 88 and 86 physical i thought i have to try this card and he's also not the tallest of players five foot nine is fairly tall compared to me you know what i mean but he's not the tallest of players not like six foot two six foot three but yeah man he's argentinian as well so he offers you that those links like i have here which i linked him up with ricosta and eduardo salvio and yeah, let's look at his in-game stats. He's got 86 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, 91 strength, which is insane. 78 aggression, 79 stamina, 73 balance, not the best. 83 agility, not too bad. 80 composure, 82 dribbling, 74 curve, which is a bit eh. Um, he's got 72 volleys. His finishing is 87. His attacking positioning is 84, which is not too bad as well. But let's take him in-game and see how he does, boys. First game, we do come up against the likes of Rashford, Footmas, Footmas Firmino, the for champions, Felipe Anderson, Kevin De Bruyne, Footmas, Roy Keane. Roy Keane? Yeah, Roy Keane. But yeah, really nice looking team, especially when it was for champions as well. For this player of you, I did do it for champions because I didn't need the striker. I'm trying to get the Rafael Leão, um, what's it called? Rafael Leão foot future card, but I need to do win 14 games with the league and team. So for that reason, I pretty much have no striker. I built my team around this Rafael Leão, so I need to unlock him. So until then, I thought, you know what? Let's get this Lautaro Martinez, link him up with Salvio and Rui Costa and try this guy out. But yeah, one thing I liked about this guy was his pace, okay? Despite him being that physical player, he can run as well. He's not that player that but because, him, because of him being strong and being that physical player... He lacks pace. No, this guy has really nice looking pace for a striker. He felt really, he felt really good on the ball, like in the sense of like ball control. But sometimes he does feel clumsy. That's one thing I did realize with this card. I, I do understand his balance is seventy three, so I can't really expect him to be the best on the ball, like to feel smooth with the ball and feel good on it. He felt decent at times, but sometimes he does feel clumsy, especially especially his first touches are not the best, boys. Trust me, his first touches are not the best. So he does feel a bit clumsy at times. He does lack that technical ability. He's all right. He's decent. I'm not saying he's the worst. Like he can't control a ball, but overall, he's not the most technical player of players out there. 
But yeah, his physical was really good. Eight, um, his physical did bits, okay? His physical allowed me to hold up play, do hold up play, wait for my wingers to make the runs and release the ball, open up gaps, hold the defence, wait for support and after score those goals. As you can see, Lautaro Martinez, brilliant finish there, near post, no chance for the keeper. His finishing felt really good, boys. His finishing was insane, especially inside the box. I don't know, man. By far, really good. Like, for an 84-rated card, he felt really good finishing-wise. Like, he was also in the right place at the right time. He does have good attacking positioning. So, for that reason, it does show in-game. Inside a box, he does not miss a chance. Outside of boxes, long shots... Outside the box shots are not too bad. If you want to put him still on the edge of the box for a corner, I wouldn't really advise it because he is kind of an aerial threat. He does have nice heading accuracy. But yeah, inside the box, his, his shooting is impeccable. So if I was you guys, go get this card. But for shooting wise, he's not going to disappoint you. 100%. 84 rated card. Only if you have to do is give 9 foot swap deals and you get a player that can finish boys. He does open up defences over there, as you guys can see. Releases to Herrera. He does not the best there. But this guy's always at the right place at the right time. Dribbling wise, he's not too bad. Like his dribbling is pretty good for a striker. He's not too bad. He felt decent dribbling. I'm not saying it's the best out there, but it's not the worst as well. He can dribble. He's not that player that can't bloody control a ball and can't dribble. Is too scared to go <laughs> and dribble through the players. He's got decent dribbling. Not the worst, not the best, but it does the job. His passing, oh, uh, his passing is something I saw that lacked, okay? He does have 73 vision, so obviously his passing would not be the best. His The vision does impact the passing. His pass was decent, like the ticky tack, like the link up play just outside the box, the quick one twos. He does the job, but sometimes it does. I don't know, man. I did direction there, like I clicked X and he just didn't see the ball to go there he just made it so much harder for what the person receiving the ball so his passing is not up to scratch it's decent nothing too special it could be way better yeah it does the job i could say but yeah man this lautaro martinez felt really good on the ball okay like attacking wise when he was getting inside the box like when he was inside the box he was a threat he was an absolute threat okay really good player inside the box Obviously, take into consideration he does four star. He does have four star skill moves, four star weak foot. That's a really good positive I liked about him because he is unpredictable due, due to having those uh, statistics of four star skill moves, four star weak foot. He can shoot with both feet. His shooting is impeccable. I love the way he can shoot with both feet. It allowed me, like, to not have to cut in all the time and making it obvious from my opponent. He's obviously got the four star skill moves, which allows you to, if you abuse those uh, four star skill moves, once again, it makes him unpredictable. It does it, it makes it harder for the opponent to anticipate what you're going to do, and it also allows you to, like, skill your opponent, go through them, and just surprise them with a few skill moves here and there, and open up space and get those goals. So that's something I did like about Lautaro Martinez. But yeah, man, overall, is he worth it? I would say yes, for an 84 rated card, he does a job, especially when you're only giving 9 swap deals players, it's not going to cost you much, like most of them, you just have to do a daily objective and after there's like 2 or 3 where you have to do an SBC, so yeah, 84 rated card, is he better than Icardi? I would say yes, due to the fact that he's got 4 star skill and his 4 star weak foot, look at that finish, just inside the box, oof, filthy, absolutely filthy. But yeah, is he better than Icardi? I would say yes. He does have 63 passing, which is poor, which is a big negative. Is he for champions ready? Yes. I would say use him as a super sub, bring him on, especially in those dire minutes when you need that goal. Someone that can is an aerial threat. Someone that can get those goals. Like he's got 91 stamina as well. So I would say he's more of a super sub uh, instead of a starter he can start he is for champions ready 100 percent. but i just feel like there's better options in the serie a better strikers out there is he is he worth it uh, is he worth picking up yes i would say you could wait for dembele but it's probably a better option but this latter Mar martinez won't disappoint you like he does a job for an 84 rated striker he does insane so yeah man that's going to be it out of 10 i would say he's a 7 7.5 i'd say 7.5 out of 10 not the best striker out there, but he's not by far not the worst. He does the job. He scores goals. And I do believe he's better than Incardi, boys. I do believe he's better than Mario Cardi, but I just feel like there's better options in the Serie A. The only thing that allows him to be better than Icardi and than most Serie A strikers or some Serie A strikers is because he's got that four-star skill and his four-star weak foot. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. 
like comment subscribe it's been your boy mr mike hd here back again with another video hopefully you guys enjoyed smash the like button subscribe put notifications on if you got to this part of the video comment down below hashtag 63 see ya adios